Hello, I'm defense attorney Mark Rosenfeld, and I want to talk to you about expungements. A lot of times I'll have people call and ask whether they can get a matter expunged from their record. Say they were convicted of a DUI, a couple years has gone by, and they're worried about it showing up on the record. And I've done videos on this before, but I wanted to do an update because it's a very common question. And the, the answer is yes, you can do an expungement, but it might not get you everything that you want. Regardless, it's probably a good idea to do it. And there's different ways, different phases, or different times to do an expungement. And one of the things that you need to consider is whether you're on probation at the time or whether you're off probation. To really do the expungement itself, you need to be off of probation. You cannot have any open or pending cases. You need to have completed everything that you were supposed to do. So if probation is over, you've done everything you're supposed to do and you don't have any other open cases, you can petition or ask the court to expunge the matter. And the process includes filling out paperwork or a motion with the court and you have to notify the prosecutor that you're going to be going through this process because they may object and then you go into court and you argue the motion for expungement. And if it's granted, the no contest or guilty plea that was entered is withdrawn, a not, not guilty plea is entered, and the matter is dismissed. Now, if you look at a live scan report or you are a law enforcement or a judge, you will always see it, but the matter is expunged if the 1203.4 motion is granted and there will be an entry in the permanent record showing that the matter was expunged. And for most purposes, you can answer the question, you know, have you been arrested? No, because legally you're allowed to do that, except there are a few exceptions. Uh, the state lottery, professional licensing, you have to answer accurately, but for most regular jobs, you're able to answer, no, there was no arrest and no conviction. So after probation is over, it's relatively straightforward. Uh, the trick is to see if you can get the expungement done early, and in order to do that, you have to terminate or end probation early. So say you're placed on probation for three years, a year and a half has gone by, can you expunge it? Not yet. What you have to do is first file a motion to terminate probation or end probation early and get that granted. If you're able to do that and you have to provide notice to the prosecutor and the court and go in and argue and explain why probation should be ended early. But if you're able to end or terminate probation early, you then can go forward with the expungement. And as I said, it's, it's good to do. Uh, it still may be there. It's not like completely sealed and nobody can find it, but it does help clear up the record, especially for job purposes. Another warning that I usually give is that this is for the court records, not for the Department of Motor Vehicle records. So if you're dealing with a DMV issue, that's separate and not going to be fixed by an expungement in court. So. If you're on probation, we need to go in, we need to file a motion to terminate, we need to explain, explain to the court and the prosecutors why probation needs to be terminated early, and then go forward with the expungement to get the matter withdrawn, the guilty plea withdrawn, and not guilty plea entered, and the case dismissed, so you can honestly answer that you were not convicted and not arrested for most purposes. If you'd like to talk about terminations of probation and expungements, please feel free to give me a call if you have a matter in Los Angeles. You can reach me at 310-424-3145. Once again, this is attorney Mark Rosenfeld, and you can reach me directly at 310-424-3145.